Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome in. My name is Amanda. This is The Connected Conduit. This will be a timeless reading for you, so whenever you find it, you are meant to. Do keep in mind this is general, so messages may or may not resonate with you. Okay, I'm getting the song, time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. This Divine Masculine feels like you are slipping away. Time is slipping away from them, and the longer they take to take action or reach out the farther away you become they're also feeling like very left behind when it comes to like the energy of the connection so they can sense and they know that you divine feminine you're farther along on your spiritual path on the journey and they're they are they're behind you right they need to kind of catch up they need to get to where you're at and to do that seems like a really big feat Okay, there's like a lot of stuff that would need to change in order for them to align with you. And this brings a lot of like stress, okay, to your masculine stress, worry, anxiety, um, feelings of lack, hopelessness, being torn, conflicted, and they feel like you're slipping away, like you're, you're moving forward at a very fast pace. You keep going up, 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 and they feel like they're failing to meet you or they, they keep falling behind or they keep falling short. And it's a hopeless energy that I'm getting from this masculine right now. Um, but I feel, I feel like this is what this masculine needs. They need the challenge. They need this push. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it. This is... A very stubborn masculine they could be a fixed sign someone who really is in their comfort zone very much rooted in their life in their life in their own old ways right old patterns old ways um but i feel this desire from your masculine to want to catch up to you they don't want you to slip away. And I feel like they're going to put in the work. They're going to surprise you, Divine Feminine. Okay? I really do feel that. Can you show us what's going on for the masculine right now along their journey? The Five of Wands. Yeah, I was just talking about that. They're struggling. They're conflicted. There's a lot of inner turmoil and there could be other people in the mix. There could be competition, like they could still be with a karmic partner or um, living a karmic lifestyle that keeps them in a state of conflict. So right now they're going through a lot of change. They're experiencing obstacles, challenges, delays and roadblocks. They're struggling with this, you guys. They're struggling with their ascension. They're struggling with catching up to you. I can see a masculine just sort of standing, you know, here. And there's like a path and you're like way ahead and you just keep walking. And you're, you're slowly fading away. And this masculine is like calling after you. Like, wait, wait. But you don't. You just kind of keep going. You don't even turn around. They may have even had a dream of you, like, walking away, going in a different direction, um, becoming too far out of reach. Whoops. We have these cards falling out. Um, and I caught them in between my legs <laughs> before they could hit the floor. Um, Death and Rebirth, Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups fell out. So... They're struggling with this transformation. They're feeling maybe like they don't have enough. They don't have what it takes. They could be feeling down on their luck, a little depressed, left behind, right? Left out in the cold, five of pentacles. They're sad. They love you. This is hard. Okay, they're struggling with this journey right now. They are. 
And how is, show us the feminine's energy right now. The Ace of Swords. So you have truth and clarity. You're having some sort of new beginning here and a breakthrough. You're very wise, you know? It's like, I know what I know. And I'm trusting what I know. I'm trusting in my truth. I'm trusting in my intuition. I'm also trusting in the journey and, and the fact that there are cycles to life, right? Cycles and seasons. Time is an, an eternal spiral, just like this spiraling staircase in the card. And... I feel like you have this knowingness and this understanding of the journey that the masculine does not. Like you have this knowledge because I feel like you most likely, um, you seek it out, you look for it and you find it by watching YouTube videos, tarot card readings, um, reading books, stuff like this. And it gives you a different perspective on the journey. It also empowers you in, in a different way. And... The masculine may struggle with this journey because they process things differently. They might not go to tarot card readings in order to understand this connection. And therefore, they're more in the dark and they're having to like trust their intuition, which is very difficult for this masculine. There's a lot of fear here. expect next in your connection what can you expect next the page of cups okay so this could be a message communication coming in an apology this is your masculine opening up and expressing themselves just a little bit okay not a lot but a little bit I'm hearing before it's too late, before it's too late. So this masculine feels like you're slipping away. The silence is deafening. And they could owe you some sort of an apology here. They need to let you know what's been going on in their life. They have to communicate. This is how they feel. Okay, they are struggling with it though. They're struggling with the silence between the two of you very much. How is this masculine feeling in their heart space for the feminine at this time? Woo! The world. Okay, so you are completion. Um, you're leveling up. You're going after the things you want. You could have reached some sort of major goal, major achievement recently in your life. And they, your masculine sees you as just like killing it. You're succeeding. You're doing everything you ever wanted. You're going after life with like zest and vigor and strength and passion. And they really admire this about you. They see you as completion, as bliss. You're everything. Okay. You could have an online business. You could have a platform. They could watch you somehow if you're online, whether that's like social media or YouTube or you, like I said, you have your own website, something like this. But they want to, they want to come and they want to see you. They want to be face to face. They want to see you in the world. Um, they want to experience your energy again because they really, really, really miss you. They miss your energy. They miss your smile. They miss the way that you make them feel particularly like in the heart space, like your masculine may feel quite breathless when they're around you. You make them feel alive. You really do. But again, it's like they see you as this person who's reached the end of the journey. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I opened up this reading by saying, 
your masculine feels a little bit intimidated by the fact that you are farther along on your healing journey. You're farther along in your on your spiritual path than they are. And they find this a little bit intimidating because they wonder, how can I catch up? Like, that's a big distance. That's a big gap. <laughs> um, because the world card is the last card in the tarot. When you reach the last card in the tarot, that signifies that you've made it from the very beginning to the very end of the journey. So they feel like you've done it. You've been there. You've done it. You know everything. You've learned all of your lessons and they're just starting out or they're only halfway. And my voice just went, my throat chakra just totally went. <clears throat> they're feeling nervous. They could be younger than you which is adding to the whole, you know, which is adding to the fact that they feel maybe not good enough or something like this, okay? What is the masculine going to do about this five of wands energy that they find themselves in at this time? How are they going to overcome this? What are they going to do? How are they going to tackle this? The wheel. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. So... They're going to move, you guys. They're going to take action. They're going to set things in motion. I feel like they really want to start another cycle with you because I feel like you guys have completed some sort of cycle in this journey, whether you call it a twin flame journey, a soulmate journey, or whatever journey you feel like you're on. Maybe you don't even feel like you're on a journey. That's fine too. But like I was saying before, when the Ace of Swords card came out, it's like you understand cycles. You understand that there are going to be cycles along this journey where your masculine comes in, they make contact, you have an experience, and then they might go away again. They might pull back. You go your separate way, and then you guys reconnect. And this is going to happen. It may happen like a few times. There could be coming together, triggering, separation, healing, coming back, et cetera, et cetera. Like you have this understanding, but your masculine, I feel, does not. And so when you guys experience separation, they're really struggling with it. Whereas you're not. You're like, I have clarity. I know what's going on. I'm good. But your masculine isn't. They're thinking you're gone. It's done. It's over. They messed up. How are they ever going to make it up to you? How are they going to catch up to you? Okay, so this is stuff they have to work through. And I feel like they're going to put things um, right. They're going to get the wheel moving in the right direction. They want to change things on a drastic scale when it comes to your connection. This is going to, of course, come down to divine timing with the wheel coming out, but... This speaks to cycles, the clock of the tarot, time. Your masculine has karma to clear, okay? Your masculine has some karma to clear. Not only in their own life, but when it comes to you and your connection because you guys have been here before not only in this lifetime but in past lives okay this is like past life karma transferring over into this lifetime the emperor is on the bottom of the deck which is good to see because it's like your masculine is going to boss up step into their emperor energy and take control of their life take control of these difficult emotions Step into their confidence and take action, right? The emperor takes action. The emperor is in control. The emperor goes after what he wants. So 
this is positive. I feel it's it's very positive, but at the same time, your masculine just sees you um, living your best life, succeeding, and they feel they feel like they're being left behind. But you're gonna hear from your masculine. You guys are going to have a chance to reconnect. Um, I feel like they're gonna open up to you a little bit, and you will have the chance to. Talk about your feelings. Talk about what's been going on, you know, in the journey. I don't feel like you're going to unload on your masculine and start dropping like the twin flame bomb and all of that. I feel like you'll just hold space for them. And it'll just be nice for you guys to reconnect, have some lighthearted conversation, um, talk about what's been going on in your life. And I really feel like it's going to leave you guys feeling good. It's going to leave you feeling uplifted in good spirits and it's going to help reignite a new cycle for you guys okay and it's a very positive one anything else spirit that would like to come through in this message for the divine feminine divine masculine we have the seven of swords coming out you guys need to be careful um, I keep getting this message that there's karmic interference and for many of you watching, it is a karmic partner attached to your divine masculine who does not want to see the two of you come together and they've been trying to block and hinder this union from, from coming together for quite some time. Yeah, see? Seven of, seven of swords, two of cups. This person is jealous of your connection they're really jealous of your bond okay so this karmic and this masculine they don't have the same type of bond that you guys share you have you know if you resonate with the twin flame journey then you guys could be twin flames you could be really high 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 level soulmates but whatever the bond is between the two of you regardless of what you call it or label it it is strong and it you guys have had multiple past lives together like many 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 past lives together you are your counterparts your divine counterparts and you're meant to be together in this lifetime again and i just feel your masculine has been dealing with karmic people karmic cycles karmic situations that have really had a hold on them and they're having to clear that karma Seven of Swords. They have to close this cycle out with someone karmic in their life. And it could even be karmic behaviors, karmic mindsets, karmic patterns that your masculine has been struggling with. Okay? It could be addictions, living in the ego, caring too much about material, material things. Right? Operating from the head instead of tapping into that heart space. Things like this. Um, what is the masculine's best course of action at this time? What is their best advice? The Knight of Pentacles. Oh, that's beautiful. Aww. It's like steady on, masculine. Steady on. It's okay. You don't need to rush. You're going to get there in due course. You will get to where you need to go. The wheel is in motion. There's no need to rush. There's no need to panic. You're exactly where you need to be along your journey. Even if your divine feminine is leaps and bounds ahead of you, it's okay. It's meant to be like that. It is like that for a sacred purpose. You don't need to compare your journey to your feminine's journey. Just because you feel like you're not quite as advanced or farther along on your healing journey doesn't, it's not a negative thing. You're exactly where you need to be. So have no fear. Don't worry about that. Steady on. Keep going. You're going to get where you need to go with slow, dedicated, patient effort. Perhaps you've been called to focus more on your stability, on your finances. You, you may have been receiving internal nudges to like work on grounding your energy spend more time in nature do like deep breathing meditation things like this if you're being called to take off your feet and connect with the earth walk on the grass in bare feet definitely do that 
Okay, there's a strong message coming through here for both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine to take off your shoes and put your feet on the grass, on the earth, and feel Mother Earth. Feel that nurturing energy coming through up into your body and really grounding you at this time. Because if you're feeling panicky and you're going through a lot of change and obstacles, then <clears throat> Spirit's saying take a deep breath, slow things down, center ground okay um what is the divine feminine's best advice when it comes to this connection the six of wands <laughs> You guys, you're going to have a victory here. You will have success. The Six of Wands is a huge yes card. And the Nine of Cups on the bottom, that's personal wish fulfillment, your dreams coming true, just being happy, following your heart, doing what lights you up. So many of you are meant to have, like I said, there's like another cycle. So you guys are meant to have like reunion and sort of, I don't know if you're starting over or building upon what you already have established, but there's another level that is occurring here between you guys, okay? You're going up to the next level here. You're going to deepen your bond. And whatever you're doing for work, you're going to be extremely successful. You could be getting a promotion. You could be receiving some sort of um, recognition for the work that you've been doing because it's very, very high quality and people love it. They love what you're doing and they want to pay for your services. You're being recognized for your work. You could be very prominent in your community. Notice how her back is turned and she's just like, yes, <laughs> in the spotlight, on stage, following you're following your passions you're doing what lights you up and it's leading you into this abundant stage um and your masculine is slowly and steadily um what do you call that something the rear there's something the rear <laughs> following following up the rear or something <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of the saying, and that sounded really weird. Anyways, they're um, they're following behind you. I I don't even want to say following, but they're slowly and steadily making progress. But you're like up here. You know what I mean? Like that's the vision that I had. It's like they're the caboose. <laughs> you are the engine choo-choo, right? You just go for things. You're fast moving. You go for things. You have a lot of energy, zeal, and zest for life. And your masculine, they may, they may be a fixed sign. They may take longer to make changes and go towards what they want in life. So they're the caboose, right? But the caboose is really important. The engine may pull the train where the power is. You have all the power. You're like pulling, you're leading, but your masculine is the caboose. They're at the end and they back up the train. Okay, so if the train ever gets into trouble and can't make it up a hill, the caboose kicks in and it pushes the train, right? I don't know. I don't know why a train analogy is coming through, but it is. Have you guys ever read that story, The Little Engine That Could? Or is it The Little Engine That Could? Or I can't remember if that's the title. I think it's the little engine that could. But yeah, it's about the engine and then the caboose, the caboose at the end. And the caboose feels very useless. You know, it's like, oh, I'm the caboose. I'm at the end of the train. Rats, I wish I was a different part of the train. But then <clears throat> the train goes up, up this huge, huge hill, and then it starts to slide backwards. And the caboose puts on the brakes and it pushes the train up the hill and it saves the day. So the caboose is the hero, okay? And this is what your masculine needs to realize. Masculine, you may feel like you're last right now, but you are a hero, okay? And you have a lot of power being at the end. <laughs> you have a lot of power even though you feel like you're behind, okay? I hope that makes sense, you guys. I really do. 
and every good masculine stands behind a good woman, right? And supports her, right? Or a good feminine. <clears throat> Do you know what I mean? A balanced masculine, you know, wants to see their feminine shine and they're not threatened by that. And they support the feminine in a very gentle, inconspicuous way, if you will. It's just beautiful, you guys. So your masculine is not on their horse. They're, they're moving very slowly. They're on foot and they will get there they will it may take them some time but it's okay this is part of the sacred plan this is exactly how it's supposed to be going this is in alignment this is ex this is perfect is what spirit's saying this is perfect you guys are exactly where you should be along your path okay but the feminine i feel is more settled in her knowingness and the masculine is struggling a little bit more with where they are and maybe lacking some of the knowledge, the spiritual knowledge that the feminine already has gained, right? So, and again, just a heads up, watch out for this seven of swords person who may try to interfere, manipulate because they have under, um, they have underlying motives. Yeah. See the five of swords. Ew. Ew. This person is definitely competing they're definitely competing with you, Divine Feminine. Yeah, because you're the Empress. You are this masculine's wish fulfillment and the, the karmic knows it. And like I was saying before, they're quite jealous of the connection that you guys share. And even if you guys are in separation, like this karmic can tell that the masculine's heart is with you. Their heart and soul are with you. They want to be with you. They miss you. They haven't been um, they haven't been themselves since you've been gone. The silence is eating your masculine up inside. And they're really struggling with this. And the karmic can see it. They can see it. They can see how your absence is making the masculine panic. And your absence is making their heart grow fonder. I just saw it's eating me up inside. I need to talk to you. Yeah, the silence is eating. Yeah, look. The silence is eating your masculine up. They really, really want to talk to you. And we have the page of cups out here. So it's eating me up inside. I need to talk to you. They will be coming forward with communication. But you guys, look. On the split, we have a snake in the grass. I'm telling you, there is a snake here. So watch your back. Snake in the grass, somebody trying to manipulate. Stand in between the two of you. Stop you guys from having union. Stop you guys from reconnecting. They're trying to stop this masculine from reaching out to you. But it's not going to work. I need time and space. I'm in a dark place right now. Mm hmm. Yeah. I get very jealous at the thought of you with someone else. I try not to, but I can't help it. I'm so in love. Everyone around me is wondering what's wrong with me. <laughs> Why are you acting so strange? I can't stop smiling and singing. See? Your masculine is so in love and it's changing them. After you guys come into contact and you, like once they reach out and you guys get to talk and express your feelings for one another and you get to have that conversation and start another like cycle. Um, and when I say cycle, I don't mean a karmic cycle. Okay, that's not what I mean. I just mean with this type of journey, you know, there's ups and downs, there's twists and turns, you know, things go around and around. Um, it's like your masculine comes in and sometimes they can go out again and, they, and then back in and it's just like you guys reconnect and then that's what I mean when I say cycle. 
And I don't mean that your masculine is trying to rope you into some sort of negative karmic cycle. That's not what I mean at all. So please don't misunderstand me when I say that, okay? Um, but yeah, once you guys get to come together, have this communication, their spirits are going to be so um, uplifted. People are going to notice. People in their life are going to notice, including if they're still with a karmic partner, the karmic partner will notice because they're miserable right now. They're in a dark space. They're going to communicate with you. You guys will talk. And then when they, yeah, I don't know, they might go. And then after speaking with you, they're going to be a lot happier and the karmic's going to notice this. Okay. You take my breath away every time I look at you. So I was saying earlier that your masculine could feel quite breathless when they're around you. And this message has come out to confirm that for you. My goodness another message about love songs i'm singing love songs while thinking of you other people in my life have noticed a change in my energy and mood see you guys i was just saying that that other people in their life are going to notice a change a shift in their in their mood and if they're with a karmic partner this Karmic partner is definitely going to notice that you bring this masculine happiness. You uplift them. They can't do that, but you can. You have that power. You have the ability to light up this masculine to bring them so much joy and happiness and passion and love, and they can't. And they're very angry, very bitter, very resentful about that. Okay, so just a heads up. Protect your energy, all right? have a gift for you I dream of you all the time every day we are apart tears me to pieces yeah five of wands they feel like you're slipping away. It's tearing them apart. It's tearing them to pieces. They will get past this, this energy though, you guys. They will. I need you now. I'm going to come see you right away. I'm planning a way to see you. I'm planning a run-in. Yep. They really, really, really want to talk to you and they, they're going to do it. They miss you. The distance is killing them and... They've learned a lot during this separation period that you've been in, you guys. Okay? When they come in, there might not have been a huge shift for this masculine in the 3D world, but you're going to feel a huge difference in their energy. And you, you guys are going to have an up, upfront, honest conversation about some of the things that you've been experiencing and your feelings okay and it's really going to help propel you guys forward take this connection to the next level you're going to bond and it's going to clear up a lot of confusion or um misunderstanding that you guys may be feeling at this at this moment in time okay so this is what i have for you guys i hope you found this message helpful if you feel called to like and subscribe on your way out, that would be amazing. I would love to have you and liking the video really helps out the channel. So thank you so very much for doing that. I appreciate it. And all the best on your journey. All the good vibes. Have a fantastic day, afternoon or evening, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.